hate cell phones. I really hate cell phones. I'm not kidding. Because, like, I'll be here shooting video and somebody calls me. Now, of course, they don't know that I am on the phone. And if I don't have my phone nearby, I'm, like, totally going to forget where it is because I do that. I have those kind of tendencies. But I guess the gods didn't like my rendition of Electric Six's synthesizer, you know? You can trip on my synthesizer, you know? Electronic world for every boy and every girl. <laughs> so, at anywho, um, I wanted to uh, do an update on the uh, the Mega Elite Substitute for Centurion Project. Righteous Fond, who is a um, member of the Nerf Modders Welcome Forum on uh, Facebook, and is also a member of Nerf Haven, gave me a really good suggestion with the Panther, which is to, uh, to instead of using 1730 seconds, is to use one half inch brass. Now, I went out, invested another four bucks, sawed it down, tried it out, and check this out, without blowing the dart. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Did you hear that pop? Oh man, it, it's it's doing about 75, 80 feet flat. Pretty nice, if I'm lucky, 85. But I did notice a problem with the Centurion darts. Yeah, let me get this dart. You wanna know what it was? You wanna know what it is? Um, number one, and I went and I put eight pumps on there, I got my 75, 80 feet. But as soon as I went up to nine, okay, I got like 82, 83 feet. When I went up to 10, no difference. 11, no difference. 12, I kind of blew one of the darts. Um, I'm noticing that these things have a, a, like this sort of 80 foot ceiling flat. Um, that once it goes 80 feet, you need an astronomical amount of power to um, beat it. So this thing, I think, has worse terminal ballistics than even a streamline. Now, of course, you're saying, well, how can that be? They're heavier. They're uh, they're round in the front, you know. Yeah, they're round in the front, but you got two big air channels, like here and here. I mean, look at that. I think these things uh, suck suck air in here, and it just causes so much aerodynamic drag that there's just no way to get this going uh, probably past 130, 140 feet per second. I just think it's impossible. Um, or if you do, it goes down really quick. So when I was doing like 10 pumps with the Panther, okay, it was faster going out, but it was the same speed at, at, at about 60, 50 or 60 feet. It just slowed back down. It didn't really accomplish much. So at any rate, I think that um, it, these darts, they just need to make a, somebody needs to make a new elite dart, a new mega elite dart. I just don't like them. For some reason, it just seems, it's like when we started out with the Sonic darts, you know what I mean? Or, you know, in, in I remember a long time ago, my friend made a uh, Streamline dart and made it so that it was uh, the same way as a Sonic dart, just to try it out. What I noticed was that the Sonic dart just, it, 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 it literally, I think the Streamline went like, like 70, 75 flat. Of course, this is like 2009, 2010, okay? Um, and the, uh, on a night finder, a modded night finder, I used to have a really bitchin' uh, modding, modded night finder. Bitchin' back in those days. It's probably doing about 6K. Um, and we threw um, that streamline in there, and then we, we threw the Sonic in there. And the Sonic did maybe 55. Uh, and it was the same way. One reason, the head's bigger, aerodynamics, but the head's bigger on these. Sure, you got a big tail, but the head is bigger, so it's going to hit. It's going to hit the air, and it's going to have a more coefficient drag. The other issue is that the diameter is not really um, is not really uh, three quarters of an inch PVC on the inside. It is slightly smaller, which I'm sure you can probably get an air gun to fire it. The problem is, is that it would expand and go boom on you and it would cause it to have a fracture or a crack. Um, much the same as the insides does. So I'm really thinking that to mod this and to put it on a pistol, you are actually better off uh, with this system. I, I think what's gonna happen is when I do it on the outside, I'm gonna have to use some exotic, like 
seven eighths and like get you like go point oh three oh wall thickness on on both sides to get me this diameter or i'm gonna have to really play around with the gauges and i'm gonna have to use like either 60 61 or 60 63 for aluminum to pull it off i don't think brass can do it um they don't stock brass typically kns metals does not stock brass that's this big typically at your hardware stores and it's and I know they made it this size to avoid people you putting putting them in PVC, but they couldn't avoid that. So there you go. So anyway, uh, again, righteous fawn. Thank you. The guy made his own knife, dude. He made handles, a blade, everything, and he's got this fucking cool marijuana painted uh, stampede, and it's all cut out in the front. And this, and I'm sure it's really mean, but it oh it looks so cool. This four twenty friendly uh, stampede. He's cool. He's cool. And he's also, like, strong enough to say, you know, when I am full of crap, Chris, you're full of shit. You know what I mean? And those are, like, the kind of people you want to be around, because I'll tell you the truth, especially modding. I mean, everybody sits there and says, oh, everything you do is great and wonderful. No. You know, that's not what you want, because you'll never improve, you know? So, until next time, it's Chris Cartier, signing off. Um, I'll see you later. Peace.